This is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, Who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, What are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. So they said to him, Who are you? So we can give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, Some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandals strap I am not worthy to untie. This, unha this happened in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptizing the gospel of the Lord. We are a new year, and this day many people start new resolutions. And today's first reading, St. John Apostle give us some ideas about the new resolutions. The first one, remain in Jesus. In this new year, remain in the Lord. Remain in Jesus in order to receive a great promise, the promise of eternal life. In the first reading, the apostle John said to us, remain in the teachings of the Lord. The teachings that you received remain in him because in him you found strength, you found wisdom, you found light for your daily life. This is the invitation, the first invitation in this day. What is the play for Jesus Christ in our plans for these years, in our new resolutions? What is the play for him? Ask yourself. What is the play for the Lord in this new year, in my new resolutions? Remain in him. Why? Because if you remain in Jesus, you receive a great promise. If you remain in him, one day you receive the grace of the eternal life. The eternal life exists one more time. The readings teach to us about this truth, remain in him. And how to remain in Jesus? With humility. In today's gospel appeared the great example of St. John the Baptist. I am not the Christ. I am not the prophet. I am the servant of God. Just God is God. I am not God. The way of the humility. This is the way in order to remain in Jesus. Because this is the way that Jesus himself teach to us. The manger, humility. The baby, humility. And St. John the Baptist show us the same way, humility. I am not the Christ. I am not God. We live in a pride society. We live in a society that said, God is not important. The most important is the human race. I am most important than God. I am God. Many people think that. The way of humility is the, I think, just the one way for remain in Jesus, remain in God. We live in many confusions in many lies, because the liar is present, we need the truth. And we need 
humility in order to discover that truth and live according to that truth in our life. Let us ask to the Lord that in this new year, give us new faith, give us humility in order to remain in him, in order to believe in him and love him during the old year. Let us pray in silence.